Greetings guys, this is Tokrev and today I am driving the Cromwell, the tier 6 British medium tank. This is an absolute beautiful vehicle, it has some crazy mobility capabilities and it has got a very good DPM. The only disadvantage on this tank is the aim time because the gun is really inaccurate if it is yeah, unaimed. So guys, what you want to do in the Cromwell is of course go into positions where the enemy have a hard time getting you because of course this tank has got a really low amount of hell armor. I take one hit there from the MT-25 but doesn't matter. I feel like that in this position on the map swamp we have got a very good chance on getting shots upon the enemy without them shooting us back because you've got this position looking around all over the map and you can just hopefully get opportunities to put some shots into enemy tanks and then quickly pull back behind these ridges overall I don't like swamp that much because yeah this map most of the time plays out really campy if you come from the other side of this map around the heavy line right here but as we are talking about the heavy line as you can see most of the enemy team have gone there, so that should mean that the tanks there should push through rather quickly there. Because, yeah, there's a lot of enemy tanks there and we have got our tier 8 heavies. This is a tier 8 matchup I forgot to mention, so it can be pretty hard for the Cromwell to perform in some situations enemy like this. But an MD-25 is always a good thing to come across with. It's a bit dangerous to, yeah, not pull back because I am an easy shot for tank destroyers who might be standing back there. Great shot. Enemy vehicle destroyed. And I took down the MT-25 and pulling back to avoid shots from the Type 59. I am not going to attack the Type 59 frontally because most of you will know that the Type 59 is a really, really good tank. OP as hell as we call it, of course. It has got some really good armor capabilities. It has great mobility and a great gun. So the, ga the tank was that good that they Wargaming have chosen to never ever sell it again. As you can see, this is just beautiful for the Cromwell. These kind of situations where you can put damage out without you taking damage. That was my plan to achieve in this kind of position here on this part of the map swamp. But the middle of the yeah, map is a bit locked down now for me because of course the Type 59 is there. I don't want to trade health with the Type 59. My alpha damage is of course... Yeah, maybe 100% lower than his alpha damage. And of course, I don't... Yeah, I can't bounce and he will... Enemy armor is hit. Of uh, the opposite. I will of course always bounce on the Type 59 because it is really hard for me to penetrate him. This is just a dream Enemy scenario. The side of a Yak Tiger or a Tiger that is just a beautiful scenario for this tank. As you can see there are some shots here and I am really hoping that that Yak Tiger is coming back to get some more. <laughs> the Type 59 is spotted again, still not thinking about dueling it out with him because, yeah, just the reason that I just mentioned, I'm not going to draw it out with a Type 59. I don't want to take damage if I can't do damage without taking it myself. And now this 12 ton has taken the attention of the Yak Tiger 88 so that I can put some shot shots into him. Which is a great, uh, yeah, great effort of course for me. Damage is going up really quickly and there's a dangerous tank removed from the battlefield. Well now, the Type 59 is all spotted and the Yak Tiger is dead so I think okay let's try if this guy is pointing his back towards me and yes he is. The back of the Type 59 is of course easily Enemy penetrated, so I put one shot into him. Enemy and a second lucky shot, see if it would hit, and it did. Nice. But now he of course has his frontal armor towards me, I wanted to try one more poke shot. Luckily he doesn't shoot me or he misses, which 
actually was a misplay of me there. Shouldn't have poked against the Type 59. So it was pretty lucky that he, yeah, not hit me at all. Well now, his frontal armor is, yeah, faced towards me. And I want to get another angle on him to try and get his side armor to get a few more shots into him. Because I can't engage him frontally. So I took another position and I put one shot into him and the Type 59 is gone. The other flank heavies have pushed through really well. Only the base campers are left alive now. There's a Yak Panther 2 and a T-37 here. I want to kill the T-37 first of course. Although I've got the back of the Yak Panther 2. But the T-37 was more dangerous in that sort of situations. And now the Panther 2 has got himself into a really awkward situation. Because he has to fight off against a AMX-12 ton who has flanked him. And me who has flanked him. It doesn't matter to who he turns his armor. There's always somebody to shoot him in the side. My shots do have to hit though. But it doesn't matter. I put one shot in. I see that he aims at me. And I pull back. Not a shot misses, unfortunately. I go in because he's driving forwards. I put a shot in. And he's gone. Great effort for me in there. I did 2,500 damage in a tier 8 game. Just, oh, this is crazy. Just to show you how good the Cromwell can be. Even in a tier 8 situation. The penetration is not good. The armor is not good. The mobility is great. The gun is alright. And eventually in this game, I ended up with highest damage on the team. And also finishing up with no hits taken from the enemy at all anymore after I got hit by the MT-25 first. So guys, let's now take a look at the stats of this game. As you can see for the game in this Cromwell, we picked up the Ace Tank badge for this game in a Tier 8 matchup. We also got a... 5-4 effect medal and a bruiser medal as you can see we did most damage of our team and we were on top of XP as well but the Rymantel Borsik on the enemy team got almost 4,000 damage which is of course really well done to him I fired 28 shots this game of which 22 hit and 21 penetrated giving us the damage total of 2,479 hits received 1 penetrations 1 uh, that was the only shot that we take from the MT25, but but my great mobility of this Cromwell, we were able to not take any more hits from the enemy team and end up the game with almost 700 health remaining. We got 1,249 base experience, which was the ace tanker in the Cromwell. We were an absolute Brit's Creek on the battlefield, and we of course finished this game off in style with that nice runoff towards the Yak Panther 2. As you can see, this is. Yeah, kind of what you need to do in the Cromwell to get an Ace Tanker badge. It uh, can also be po yeah, possible in a Tier 6 matchup. But that is a lot harder than... It, yeah. It, it kind of depends. If you try to get an Ace Tanker on a Tier 6 match, you of course have to do more damage. But I did 2500 damage and most of them was on Tier 8 tanks. So that gives me some more XP for this game. Alright guys, this was the video. I hope you liked it. Please leave a like as I did put a lot of time in making this video. I hope you like me seeing play in the Cromwell. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to make more of these bombings around videos. Just me showing replays off. I hope you liked it still and I'll see you next time. Now the storm that's taking over.